同学们好，我是来自北京理工大学附属中学的彭宇老师。今天我们一起来学习第四单元 ，I use to be afraid of the dark。第一课是 ，First， let's look at the learning goals。At the end of this period， you will be able to understand the usage of use to through listening and speaking。Talk about people's changes in appearance, personality, and hobbies using user two. Okay, class, can you tell me how to describe someone? Yes, we can describe someone from two aspects: appearance and personality. Please think of words about appearance and personality we have learned before. How to describe height? Yes, tall, short, of medium height, and build. Yeah, we can use heavy, slim, thin, of medium build. How about other features? For example, have long straight hair, have short curly hair, have big eyes, have a round face, and wear glasses. When we describe pe people's personality, what positive words can we use? Great, we can use honest, friendly, helpful, active, and Humorous. This is a new word for you. It means 有幽默感的，滑稽有趣的 humorous. And neutral words, yes, outgoing, funny, shy, and silent. Another new word for you. Silent means 不说话的，沉默的 Silent. What about negative words? Lazy, greedy, selfish, dishonest. Look at this picture. Who is she? Yes, she is Lang Ping, the coach of Chinese women's volleyball team. What does she look like? She has short, straight brown hair, and she wears glasses. This is a picture of her years ago. She used to be a famous volleyball player. What did she look like in the past? We can say she used to have curly black hair, and she used to be thin. From past to now, you can see people sure change. This is Dong Qiu, one of the most famous hosts in China. However, she said she used to be shy and unconfident. From past to now, yes, people sure change. A boy named Bob is seeing some friends for the first time in four years. What did his friends Mario, Amy, and Tina used to look like? Listen carefully. And complete the sentences. Conversation one. Mario, is that you? Yeah, it is. It's Bob. Hey guys, it's Bob. I haven't seen you for four years. Yeah, I'm here with my parents. We're visiting for a couple of days. Wow, Mario, you look different. You used to be short, didn't you? Yes, I did. Now I'm tall. And so are you. That's true. And you used to wear glasses. Conversation two. Hey, Amy. It's great to see you. Hi, Bob. How are you? Fine. Wow, you've changed. Really? How? You used to have short hair. You remember that? Yes, I did. And you used to be really tall. Not anymore. You're taller than me now, Bob. Conversation three. Hi, Bob. 
Hi, Tina. You've changed too. Oh, yeah? You have blonde hair. Yeah, it used to be red, didn't it? And it's straight. Yeah, it used to be curly. Now, let's check the answers. Mario used to be short. He used to wear glasses. Amy used to be tall. She used to have short hair. And Tina used to have red and curly hair. Have you got them right? Next, we're going to describe their changes based on the information we've just heard. This is Mario. Can you describe his changes in appearance? Yes. Mario used to be short, but now he is tall. He used to wear glasses, but now he doesn't. What about Amy's changes? Great. Amy used to be tall, but now she is shorter than Bob. And Tina? Great. Tina used to have red and curly hair, but now she has blonde and straight hair. Suppose you were Bob. You would be talking with Peter about your friend's changes in appearance. Here is a pattern for you. Look at this sample. Let's read it together. Mario has changed a lot. Are you sure? Yes, because he used to be short, but now he is tall. Did he used to wear glasses? Yes. He used to wear glasses, but now he doesn't wear glasses. Paula is also talking with her old friend Steve about changes. Let's listen to the conversation and check the words you hear. Hey, Steve, over here. Don't you remember me? Oh, wow. You're Paula, aren't you? That's right. We were in the same science class during grade eight. Yes, now I remember. You used to be really quiet, didn't you? I remember you were always silent in class. Yeah, I wasn't very outgoing. I was never brave enough to ask the teachers any questions. Well, but you were always friendly. And you got a better grade in science than I did. <laughs> And I remember you were really good in music class, too. Wait a minute. Did you used to play the piano? Yes, I did. But now I'm more interested in sports. I play soccer almost every day, and I'm on a swim team. But I still play the piano from time to time. Wow, you're so active. People sure change. Okay, the words mentioned are friendly, brave, outgoing, silent, quiet, and active. Listen again to get more details and complete the chart. Before listening, you'd better go through the chart carefully. Okay, here we go. Hey, Steve, over here. Don't you remember me? Oh, wow, you're Paula, aren't you? That's right. We were in the same science class during grade eight. Yes, now I remember. You used to be really quiet, didn't you? I remember you were always silent in class. Yeah, I wasn't very outgoing. I was never brave enough to ask the teachers any questions. Well, but you were always friendly. And you got a better grade in science than I did. <laughs> And I remember you were really good in music class, too. Wait a minute. Did you used to play the piano? Yes, I did. But now I'm more interested in sports. I play soccer almost every day, and I'm on a swim team. But I still play the piano from time to time. Wow, you're so active. People sure change. Now, 
Let's check the answers. Paula used to be really quiet. She was always silent in class. In class, 在课上 she wasn't very outgoing. She was never brave enough to ask questions. She got good grades in science. Get good grades. Yes, 取得好的成绩，取得好的分数 She was also good in music class. She used to play the piano. But now everything has changed. Now she's more interested in sports. Be interested in. 同学们非常熟悉的一个句型，对什么感兴趣 ？Yeah, she plays soccer almost every day. She's also on the swim team. On the blah blah team. 参加什么什么队 ？Yeah, she still plays the piano from time to time. You know, from time to time. It means 有时不时 Good. Now, please try to retell the conversation according to the chart. Here is a sample for you. I met Paula yesterday. She has really changed a lot. Paula used to be really quiet, and she was always silent in class. She wasn't very outgoing. She was never brave enough to ask the teachers any questions. As for hobbies, she got good grades in science. She was also good in music class and used it to play the piano. But now she's more interested in sports. She plays soccer almost every day. And she's also on a swim team. However, she still plays the piano from time to time. People sure change. Let's come to another conversation between Alfred and Gina. Listen and answer the question: What are they talking about? This party is such a great idea. I agree. It's been three years since we last saw our primary school classmates. It's interesting to see how people have changed. Billy has changed so much. He used to be so shy and quiet. Yeah, his face always turned red when he talked to girls. I used to see him reading in the library every day. That's because he was a really good student. He studied hard and got good scores on his exams. Did he used to wear glasses? Yes, and he used to be thin too. But look how big and strong he is now. He's so popular now. Look at all the girls around him. Have you found out the answer? Good. They are talking about Bailey's changes. Have you got it right? Now let's go to details. Listen again. And filling the chart. This party is such a great idea. I agree. It's been three years since we last saw our primary school classmates. It's interesting to see how people have changed. Billy has changed so much. He used to be so shy and quiet. Yeah, his face always turned red when he talked to girls. I used to see him reading in the library every day. That's because he was a really good student. He studied hard and got good scores on his exams. Did he used to wear glasses? Yes, and he used to be thin too. But look how big and strong he is now. He's so popular now. Look at all the girls around him. What did Billy used to look like? Yes, he used to be thin and wear glasses, but now. He is big and strong. What did Billy used to be like? 
great. He used to be shy and quiet, but now he is popular. What about his interest? Yeah, he liked reading and studied hard. From past to now, so we can see Billy has changed so much. Now let's read the conversation with the recording and underline the answers to the two questions. What was Billy like in the past, and what is Billy like now? This party is such a great idea. I agree. It's been three years since we last saw our primary school classmates. It's interesting to see how people have changed. Billy has changed so much. He used to be so shy and quiet. Yeah, his face always turned red when he talked to girls. I used to see him reading in the library every day. That's because he was a really good student. He studied hard and got good scores on his exams. Did he used to wear glasses? Yes, and he used to be thin too. But look how big and strong he is now. He's so popular now. Look at all the girls around him. Let's have a look at the answers. What was Billy like in the past? He used to be so shy and quiet. His face always turned red when he talked to girls. He was a really good student. He studied hard and got good scores. He used to read in the library every day. He used to be thin, and he also used to wear glasses. What is Billy like now? He is big and strong. He is so popular. Okay, great. Time for us to focus on the useful expressions in this conversation. This party is such a great idea. Such a great idea. Such 后面跟一个名词短语，表示如此怎么样，起强调作用。这个聚会是如此棒的一个主意。Next one. It's been three years since. 这是含有现在完成时的一个句子。Since. 现在完成时的标志词之一，表示自从。从上次见到我们的小学同学已经有三年了。Let's go on. It's interesting to see. 咱们英文中很常用的一个句型 ，it is 加形容词 to do something， 做某事怎么样。Billy has changed so much. 又是一个含有现在完成时的句子 ，change so much 改变了太多。Here, his face always turned red, turn red 变红。Next one, I used to see him reading in the library, see somebody doing something. 看见某人正在做某事儿。Let's go on the last one. He studied hard and got good scores on his exams. Get good scores on the exams. 在考试中取得好成绩。Okay, have you taken all the notes down? Great. Here comes an oral report. Let's talk about how you have changed according to the three questions. Number one, what did you use to look like? Number two, what did you use to be like? And number three, what did you use to like doing? Here is a sample. I used to be short and thin, but now 
I am tall and strong. I used to be shy and quiet, but now I am outgoing. I used to like playing soccer, but now I like basketball more. Here, talk with your partner and then tell us about his or her changes. For example, my friend Peter used to be tall and wear glasses, but now he doesn't wear glasses. He used to be a little bit selfish, but now he is friendly and helpful. He used to like reading books about history, but now he likes books about space. Now, we're going to review the useful expressions of this period. 过去常常 yes, used to do, used to be, 留短发 yeah, have short hair, 戴眼镜 wear glasses, 课上 in class. 对什么感兴趣 ？Be interested in. 取得好成绩。Yes, get good grades. 弹钢琴。Play the piano. 不时有时。From time to time. Let's go on. 参加游泳队。Be on a swim team. 踢足球 ，play soccer， 如此好的一个主意 ，such a great idea， 变化很大 ，change so much， 变红 ，turn red， 看见某人正在做某事儿 ，see somebody doing， 努力学习 ，study hard。Or work hard. 在考试中取得好分数 Get good scores on the exams. Yeah, I believe you have done a good job. To summarize what we have learned today, we have learned how to talk about people's changes in appearance, personality, and hobbies. You can ask about others' changes. Using the following sentence patterns. Number one, what did you use to look like? Number two, what did you use to be like? Number three, what did you use to like doing? And number four, did you use to? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. When you describe someone's changes, you can say, I. He, she used to. Homework for today: Read the text scripts of one B and two B, and recite the conversation of two D. Make an English speech about the changes of your family members in appearance, personality, and hobbies. 今天的课就上到这里，同学们再见。同学们好，我是来自北京理工大学附属中学的彭宇老师。今天我们一起来学习第四单元 ，I used to be afraid of the dark。第二课时 ，First， let's look at the learning goals. At the end of this period, you will be able to use the structure used to to talk and write about how people have changed. In things they like and the ways they behave. First of all, let's have a revision of what we have learned in period one. Please use use the to but now 
to describe the changes. How to describe her change? Yes, she used to be heavy, but now she is thin. How has this boy changed? Good, he used to be shy and silent, but now he is outgoing. And this one, great. He used to like playing computer games, but now he is interested in playing basketball. Now let's talk about the things you used to like or didn't use to like when you were a child. First, look at the four pictures. PE class. Painting pictures, music class, ants and other insects. There are two new words for you. The first one, ant, 蚂蚁 ant, and the second one, insect, 昆虫 insect. Good. So, did you like these childhood activities? For example, I used to like painting pictures, but I didn't use to like music class. Now it's your turn. Good job. What other things did you use to like or dislike? Make a conversation with the help of this pattern. Well done. Let's have a look at the sample. What did you used to like when you were young? I used to like swimming. Did you used to like watching TV? No, I didn't. What else did you used to like? I used to like reading story books. We are going to listen to a conversation. Before listening, let's look at the four sentences. Number one. I didn't use to like tests. 我过去不喜欢考试 Number two, we used to walk to school. 我们过去走着上学 Number three, I used to hate PE class. 我过去不喜欢体育课 And number four, I used to be on the soccer team. 我过去参加了足球队 So. Can you guess what they are talking about according to the four sentences? Yes, maybe they are talking about the things they used to do. Now let's listen for the first time and check the sentences you hear. My six-year-old brother started school this week. Oh, that's good. Life was great when I was six. Really? Why? Oh, school was really easy. Not for me. I didn't used to like tests. Now I don't worry about tests, but I really used to be very nervous about them. But the tests in primary school were easy. Well, yes, they weren't too difficult, but I guess I wasn't used to them yet. I think I still like high school more than primary school. But we used to play every day after school. Now we just study all the time. Yeah. But we used to have to wear the school uniform. Now we can wear whatever we like. I don't mind wearing a school uniform. I don't like thinking about what to wear every day. I do remember one bad thing about primary school, though. I used to hate PE class. Now I love it. Oh, me too. Okay, the sentences mentioned are, yes, number one, I didn't used to like tests. And number three, I used to hate PE class. Great. Now listen again to get more details and fill in the chart. Before that, please go through the whole chart carefully. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. My six-year-old brother started school this week. Oh, that's good. Life was great when I was six. Really? Why? Oh, school was really easy. Not for me. 
I didn't used to like tests. Now I don't worry about tests, but I really used to be very nervous about them. But the tests in primary school were easy. Well, yes, they weren't too difficult, but I guess I wasn't used to them yet. I think I still like high school more than primary school. But we used to play every day after school. Now we just study all the time. Yeah, but we used to have to wear the school uniform. Now we can wear whatever we like. I don't mind wearing a school uniform. I don't like thinking about what to wear every day. I do remember one bad thing about primary school, though. I used to hate PE class. Now I love it. Oh, me too. Have you done? Let's check the answers. In the past, I didn't used to like tests. We used to wear the school uniform to school. We used to play every day after school. And I used to hate PE class. But now everything has changed. I don't worry about tests. We can wear whatever we like to school. We study all the time, and I love PE class. From past to now, everything sure changes. Next, please try to retell the conversation according to the chart. Here's a sample. A girl and a boy are talking about things in the past and now. The girl didn't use to like tests, but now she doesn't worry about them. In addition, they used to wear the school uniform to school, but now they can wear whatever they like to school. As for the boy. He used to hate PE class, but now he loves it. What's more, they used to play every day after school, but now they study all the time. Here comes a speaking practice for you. When we talk about the past of things, in what ways can we talk about people's changes? Yes, personality, behaviors. Hobbies, worries, and troubles. Then, how to describe changes in personality? Good. The sentence pattern used to be. How about behaviors? Exactly. Used to do. And hobbies? You're right. Used to like. Used to be interested in. As for worries and troubles, we can use used to worry, used to hate, used to be afraid of. Okay, time for you to talk about the past things with your partner. This pattern will help you. Good job. Let's take a look at this sample. I used to be nervous about tests all the time. What about you? Yes, me too. And I used to be so shy that I was afraid to talk to anyone. Really? I used to be outgoing and talkative. Yeah, you are still very outgoing now. Did you used to like sports? Of course. I used to play soccer with a lot of friends. I liked teamwork. How about you? I didn't used to play sports. I used to go to the library because I liked reading books alone. But now I like playing sports with others. You know, talking and playing with friends makes me excited. People sure change. Now let's come to Emily. She has also changed a lot. This chart shows us her changes in the last five years. 
please write two sentences to describe her changes according to it. For example, Emily didn't used to eat a lot of vegetables, but now she loves carrots and tomatoes. Now it's your turn. How about this one? Yes, Emily used to listen to pop music, but now she enjoys country music. And this one? Great. Emily used to watch scary movies, but now she hates scary movies. The last one? Good. Emily didn't used to read a lot of books, but now she reads at least six books a year. Have you gotten them right? Here, please try to translate the following sentences into English using use to. Number one. I used to be short. I didn't used to be popular in school. Number two. Paula used to be really quiet. She didn't used to like pests. Number three. Yes. You used to be short, didn't you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. And number four? Good. Did he used to wear glasses? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. I believe you have done a good job. So, can you sum up the structure use it to? The affirmative sentence pattern is yes, use it to do, use it to be. And what is the negative sentence pattern? Yeah, didn't use to do, didn't use to be. And how about yes no question? Good, did use to do. Did used to be? Yes, he or she did. No, he or she didn't. Very good. Here comes more practice for you. Write sentences about the past using use to. Let's take the first one. For example, Grace. Used to watch a lot of TV. She didn't used to watch a lot of movies. Okay, how about number two? My mom used to have curly hair. She didn't used to have straight hair. And number three, Jerry. Used to read books on European history. She didn't used to read books on African culture. The last one. Sandy used to teach British English. She didn't used to teach American English. Now, complete these sentences. To make sure you can use use it to correctly, let's take a look at number one. 我父亲过去常在周末去钓鱼 Yes, my father used it to go fishing on weekends. Number two, 你曾经当过老师吗？是的，当过，但我以前不教英语，一般以问句。What's your answer? Yeah. Did you used to be a teacher? Yes, I did. But 
I didn't used to teach English. Let's go on. Look at number three. 过去这里有一家电影院。好，同学们看到这个中文的时候，应该想到的是咱们的 there be 句型。Yes. 咱们这是 there be 句型和 use the to 结构的一个结合。So what's your answer? Yes, there use it to be a synonym here. And number four, 马里奥过去喜欢集邮，喜欢句型。Mario use it to like collecting stamps. Good. And number five, her sister used it to be very short, very short. 画线，对她进行提问。那么这是描述的是 sister 的 yes appearance. So, what did her sister used to look like? 询问外表，某人过去的外表。And number six, the last one. I used to have noodles for dinner. 改为一般疑问句，并做肯定回答。Did you used to have noodles for dinner? Yes, I did. So have you got them correct? Well done. Now let's make a summary of what we have learned in this period. First, let's review the structure used to. The affirmative sentence pattern used to do, used to be. The negative sentence pattern didn't used to do, didn't used to be, and. The pattern of the yes/no question did used to do, did used to be, yes he or she did, no he or she didn't. By using the structure used to, we can describe people's changes in yes, personality, behaviors. Hobbies, worries, and troubles. When we describe people's changes in personality, we can use yeah, use the to be. How to describe changes in behaviors? Yes, use the to do. And what about changes in hobbies? Good, use the to like. Use it to be interested in, and changes in worries and troubles. Great. Use it to worry. Use it to hate. Use it to be afraid of. Okay, class. At the end of this period, I want to share something about change with you. All of us are changing. Sometimes we need to change our life attitude. Sometimes we need to change our views of seeing things. Sometimes we need to be tolerant. Sometimes we need to be strong. Changing ourselves according to the specific situation is good for us. You know, change sometimes means chance. So, please remember, if you change nothing, nothing will change. Homework for today: write a short passage about your changes in the last few years from the following aspects. 今天的课就上到这里，同学们再见。
同学们好，我是北京理工大学附属中学的周俊军老师。今天我们一起来学习第四单元第三课时内容 ，Unit Four. I used to be afraid of the dark. Period three. First, let's see the language goals. At the end of this period, you will be able to talk about what Candy used to be like. And how she has changed. Understand the importance of self-development and self-perfection. Okay, let's go for them. Look at this picture. What is the girl in the picture doing? Yes, she's singing. What's she like? Is she outgoing or shy? She is very outgoing. Do you know the girl? Okay, today we are going to read a passage about her, from shy girl to pop star. Let's predict from the photo and the title. What was the girl like in the past? What kind of music does she like? What do you think the reading passage is about? The girl used to be shy. She likes pop music, and the passage may be about a pop star's story. Now, let's turn to page twenty-seven. Go through the passage. And get to know the main idea for each paragraph. Identify the paragraphs in which the following information appears. How Candy's life has changed. Candy's advice to young people. Candy's background. So please read it. From shy girl to pop star. For this month's Young World magazine, I interviewed 19-year-old Asian pop star Candy Wong. Candy told me that she used to be really shy and took up singing to deal with her shyness. As she got better, she dared to sing in front of her class and then for the whole school. Now she's not shy anymore and loves singing in front of crowds. I asked Candy how life was different after she became famous. She explained that there are many good things, like being able to travel and meet new people all the time. I didn't used to be popular in school, but now I get tons of attention everywhere I go. However, too much attention can also be a bad thing. I always have to worry about how I appear to others, and I have to be very careful about what I say or do. And I don't have much private time anymore. Hanging out with friends is almost impossible for me now, because there are always guards around me. What does Candy have to say to all those young people who want to become famous? Well, she begins slowly. You have to be prepared to give up your normal life. You can never imagine how difficult the road to success is. Many times I thought about giving up, but I fought on. You really require a lot of talent and hard work to succeed. Only a very small number of people make it to the top. Have you got the answers? If you pay attention to the first sentence of each paragraph, it's not difficult to find the main idea of it. Paragraph one is about Candy's background. Paragraph two is about how Candy's life has changed. Paragraph three is about Candy's advice to young people. Are your answers right? This time, 
will read paragraph by paragraph. Pay attention to the details. Read paragraph one and fill in the four. Pay attention to Candy's background. Her name, age, where she comes from, and her personality. From shy girl to pop star. For this month's Young World magazine, I interviewed 19-year-old Asian pop star Candy Wong. Candy told me that she used to be really shy and took up singing to deal with her shyness. As she got better, she dared to sing in front of her class and then for the whole school. Now she's not shy anymore and loves singing in front of. Have you found the information? The girl names Candy Wang. She's 19 years old. She comes from Asia. She is a pop star. She used to be shy, but now she's not shy anymore. Are your answers right? We are going to read paragraph two and pay attention to Candy's changes. Then fill in the form. I asked Candy how life was different after she became famous. She explained that there are many good things, like being able to travel and meet new people all the time. I didn't used to be popular in school, but now I get tons of attention everywhere I go. However, too much attention can also be a bad thing. I always have to worry about how I appear to others, and I have to be very careful about what I say or do. And I don't have much private time anymore. Hanging out with friends is almost impossible for me now, because there are always guards around me. Have you found the answers? She used to be shy, but now she's not shy anymore. She didn't used to be popular in school, but now she gets tons of attention. She used to hang out with friends, but now it's almost impossible. She didn't used to worry about how she appeared to others, but now she has to be careful about what she says. Or does. So, as you see, Candy's life has completely changed. After being famous, what does Candy say to young people? Read paragraph three and find out Candy's advice. Then complete the sentences. What does Candy have to say to all those young people who want to become famous? Well, she begins slowly. You have to be prepared to give up your normal life. You can never imagine how difficult the road to success is. Many times I thought about giving up, but I fought on. You really require a lot of talent and hard work to succeed. Only a very small number of people make it to the top. Have you paid attention to the underlined sentences? Now let's see the answers. You have to be prepared to give up your normal life. The road to success is very difficult. Don't give up, but fight on. You really require a lot of talent. And hard work to succeed. Only a very small number of people make it to top. After hearing Candy Wan's words, would you like to become famous? I hope you can fight for your dreams like Candy Wan. From a shy girl to a pop star, is it easy for her to become famous? How did Candy deal with her shyness? Does Candy like her changes? Read the whole passage again and answer the following questions.
She dealt with her shyness by taking up singing. From the first paragraph, we know this answer. Does Candy like her changes? How do you know that? She loves her change from a shy girl to a famous singer, but she doesn't like the loss of normal life. We can see it from the second paragraph. In order not to be shy anymore, she did lots of active things, which makes her a pop star and become famous. There are many good things, like being able to travel and meet new people all the time. She didn't used to be popular in school, but now she gets tons of attention everywhere she goes. But every coin has two sides. Too much attention can be a bad thing. She always has to worry about how she appears to others, and she has to be very careful about what she says or does. And she doesn't have much private time anymore. Hanging out with friends is almost impossible for her now, because there are always girls around her. She has no privacy, and she has to give up normal life. So. We can say that she loves the change from a shy girl to a pop star, but she doesn't like the loss of a normal life. Are you clear? Is it easy for Candy to become famous? Why? No, because in the third paragraph she says, "You can never imagine how difficult the road to success is." Many times, I thought about giving up, but I fought on. You really require a lot of talent and hard work to succeed. Only a very small number of people make it to top. So, what can we learn from Candy? From the passage, I think we should make. Positive changes to improve ourselves. We should be hardworking to succeed, to achieve our dreams. Don't give up, but fight on. Now, suppose you are the interviewer and your partner is Candy. Let's do an interview. What questions? Do you want to ask Candy? Here are some possible questions. What did you used to be like? How did you deal with your shyness? Do you like all the changes in your life? Is it easy for you to become a pop star? What advice do you give to young people who want to become famous? Are you ready for the interview? Here's the sample from my students. Please listen. For this month's Young World magazine, I'm going to interview a 19-year-old Asian pop singer, Candy Wang, for her special experience. Hi, Candy. It's glad to interview you today. Nice to meet you. We want to know something about your life in the past. Did you used to sing in front of others? No, I didn't. I used to be really shy. However, I took up singing to deal with my shyness. As I got better, I dared to sing in front of my class and then for the whole school. Now I'm no longer shy and love singing in front of crowds. You are outstanding. You must have gone through many changes from a little girl to a pop star. That's right. Do you like all the changes in your life? Well, 
There are many good changes. I get more support and attention. I travel to many places and meet more interesting people, which broadens my horizon and gives me confidence. However, the changes aren't all good. I always have to worry about how I appear to others, and I have to be very careful about what I say or do. I don't have much private time anymore because there are always guards around me. I know that to be a pop star is not very easy. It not only needs patience, but also needs power to face troubles and problems. So, what qualities or abilities do you think a pop star needs to have? First, I think to be a pop star needs a dream and a belief. Second, do not be influenced by outside and never give up, even if you are in difficulties. What other advice do you give to young people who want to become famous? Well, you have to be prepared to give up your normal life. You can never imagine how difficult the road to success is. Many times I thought about giving up, but I fought on. It really requires a lot of talent and hard work to succeed. Only a very small number of people make it to the top. Remember, whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. It's my pleasure to interview you. Thanks for your cooperation. Thank you. What do you think of their conversation? So brilliant. Okay, go through the whole passage and analyze the structure and get to know the written style. There are three paragraphs. Paragraph one is about Candy's background. Paragraph two is about how Candy's life has changed. Paragraph three is about Candy's advice to young people. This passage describes the story of a shy girl who realizes self-improvement and becomes a pop star. It is a personal interview, a typical narrative style. We can use this kind of structure to make layout in writing. Now, can you draw a mad map to retell the passage? Here is the sample. Let's retell together. Candy Wang is a 19-year-old Asian pop star. She used to be shy and took up singing to deal with her shyness. Now she's not shy anymore and loves singing in front of crowds. Now. Candy's life is different. There are many good things, like being able to travel and meet new people. She didn't used to be popular, but now she gets tons of attention. However, there are some bad things. She has to worry about how she appears to others and has to be very careful about what she says or does. And she doesn't have much private time anymore. It's impossible for her to hang out with friends because there are always girls around her. In order to become famous, Candy thinks young people have to be prepared to give up normal life. The road to success is difficult. Besides. People require a lot of talent and hard work to succeed. Comparing Candy's changes, are you satisfied with your own changes? Do you become better or worse? What did you used to be like? What did you used to like doing? What are the changes? You can use the following expressions to help talk about your changes. Have changed a lot. Used to, but now, the biggest change in my life is, I made it by thanks to, I hope. This is the sample. My life has changed a lot in the past three years. 
I was fat and short when I came to middle school. I used to be shy and afraid of speaking in front of crowds, but now I'm outgoing. The biggest change is that I used to be interested in computer games, but now I like sports and I often play football with my classmates after school. So I become taller and stronger than before. I like reading too. I usually go to the library to read some interesting books. Thanks to those changes, they help me to study better and keep healthier. I hope I can get better and better in the future. So, everyone, as Jean Ron said, your life does not get better by chance; it gets better by change. At last, let's enjoy a beautiful song. Dream it possible. I will chase. I will reach. I will fly. Until I'm breaking, until I'm breaking, out my cage like a bird in the night. I know I'm changing, I know I'm changing it into something big, better than before. And if it takes, takes a thousand lives, then it's worth fighting for. It's not until you fall that you. Do you like it? I hope you can change yourself and improve yourself. Fight for your dreams and dream it possible. Now let's see today's homework. Read the article and memorize the useful expressions. Write a passage to introduce how you have changed. That's all for today. Thanks for your listening. 今天的课就上到这里了，同学们，再见。同学们好，我是北京理工大学附属中学的周俊军老师。今天我们一起来学习第四单元第四课时内容 ，Unit Four. I used to be afraid of the dark. Period Four. First, let's see the language goals. At the end of this period, you will be able to. Scan the article to get the main idea of each paragraph by finding the keywords. Use the sentence context to find the missing sentences and guess the meaning of new words. Understand parents more and care about left-behind children. Okay, let's go for them. Look at the pictures. Who are they? Yes, they are left behind children. Where are their parents? They have gone to the cities to look for jobs. How do the children feel? They feel lonely and miss their parents very much.
This is Li Wen. He is a 15-year-old boy from the countryside. His parents are working in the city. He is a left-behind child. Let's read Li Wen's story. First, let's look at the title of the passage and the picture below. What problems do you think he might have? Wow, you are a good guesser. Maybe he didn't used to be interested in studying and failed his exams. Now, let's read the passage quickly and match each paragraph with its main idea. Have you got the answers? If you pay attention to the first sentence of each paragraph, it's not difficult to find the main idea. Paragraph 1 is about Li Wen's background. Paragraph 2 is about Li Wen's problems in school. Paragraph 3 is about how the problem was solved. And paragraph 4 is about Li Wen's life at present. Are your answers right? Okay, read the passage and put the sentences A to D in the correct places. These are the missing language. A. They had a long talk. B. Now Li Wen has really changed. C. However, things began to change a few years ago. D. His teacher was worried about him. From the sentence, his family spent a lot of time together and the sentence, his parents moved to the city to look for jobs. We know that Li Wen's life changed. There is a turning point here. So, the sentence C, however, since began to change a few years ago can be put here. It's logical. One day, he told his teacher that he wanted to leave the school. Because of this, his teacher was worried about him and she called his parents. She advised them to talk with their son in person. So, sentence D, is here. At the same time, pay attention to the prolong. His teacher, she, he, him. She, Li Wen's teacher, advised them to talk with their son in person. So, his parents took a 24-hour train and a 5-hour bus ride to Li Wen's school. They had a long talk. It was exactly what I needed. It here refers to a long talk. From the sentence, he has become more outgoing and make some good friends in school. He has even joined the school basketball team and become active in many other activities. I'm much happier now. We know Li Wen has changed a lot. These are the examples and the change is also the result of Li Wen's parents had much more communication with their son than they used to. So, sentence B, now Li Wen has really changed, is suitable for this place. You can see it's important to analyze the relationship between sentences and pay attention to the words which have the same meaning. So, using the sentence context may help you put the missing sentences 
in the correct places. Now, how to use the context? Can you sum up now? Here are the reading strategies. We need to understand the main idea of each paragraph. Focus on the relationship between the upper and lower sentences. Pay attention to pronouns and find out what pronouns refer to. Here are some common relationships between sentences. Remember them and learn by using. I believe practice makes perfect. Students, using the sentence context may also help you guess and learn the meaning of new words and the phrases. Read the passage and use the clues from the passage to help you guess the meaning of the words in the box. Influence, absent, boarding school, in person. Read the article and circle the clues. From the sentence, he became less interested in studying, we know Li Wen's unhappiness began to have a bad effect on his schoolwork. Influence here means have an effect on or change. From failed his examinations, made the decision to send him to a boarding school, we know Li Wen missed some classes. So, absent here means not present, not in a place, especially school or work, or missing. From he was absent from classes, his parents made the decision to send him to a boarding school he wanted to leave the school. We know a boarding school is a school where students live and study. According to his parents, took a 24-hour train and a 5-hour bus ride to get to Li Wen's school, and they had a long talk. We know in person, means face-to-face -face or by oneself. Do you know how to guess the millions of the words? Of course, use the context. Focus on the relationship between the upper and the lower sentences. From the passage, we know that Li Wen studies harder than he used to. What problems did Li Wen used to have? How has he changed now? Read the passage again, underline the problems that Li Wen used to have, and circle the sentences of how he has changed. And then, fill in the form. He studies harder than he used to. Li Wen is a normal 15-year-old boy from the countryside. He works very hard and does well in school. It is hard to believe that he used to have difficulties in school. When he was a little boy, he seldom caused any problems, and his family spent a lot of time together. However, things began to change a few years ago. His parents moved to the city to look for jobs, and his grandparents came to take care of him. But he missed his parents so much, and he often felt lonely and unhappy. Li Wen's unhappiness began to influence his schoolwork. He became less interested in studying. Sometimes he was absent from classes and failed his examinations. Finally, Li Wen's parents made the decision to send him to a boarding school. 
However, Li Wen was shy and was not able to make friends quickly in school. He found life there difficult. One day he told his teacher that he wanted to leave the school. His teacher was worried about him, and she called his parents. She advised them to talk with their son in person. So his parents took a 24-hour train and a 5-hour bus ride to get to Li Wen's school. They had a long talk. It was exactly what I needed, he said. Now I understand that even though they are busy, they are always thinking of me. They take pride in everything good that I do. After that, Li Wen's parents had much more communication with their son than they used to. Now Li Wen has really changed. He has become more outgoing and made some good friends in school. He has even joined the school basketball team and become active in many other activities. I'm much happier now, and I work even harder than I used to. I know my parents love me, and they're always proud of me, says Li Wen. It's very important for parents to be there for their children. Have you found out all the sentences? He used to feel lonely and unhappy. He is much happier now. He used to be absent from classes and failed his examinations. He works even harder than he used to. He used to be shy and not be able to make friends quickly in school. But now he becomes more outgoing and makes some good friends in school. He has really changed a lot. Why did Li Wen cause a lot of trouble? What made him change a lot? According to Li Wen, what is the most important thing in children's lives? Do you agree with him? Why? Read the passage and answer the questions. From the first paragraph, we know that Li Wen caused a lot of trouble. So, the answer is because his parents moved to the city to look for jobs. He missed his parents so much and he often felt lonely and unhappy. Look at paragraph 3. The first two sentences, they had a long talk. It was exactly what I needed. We know a long talk or conversation between Li Wen and his parents made him change a lot. According to the last sentence of the passage, we know Li Wen thinks the most important thing for children is that their parents can always be there for them. Be there means be available to provide help and support for someone. As for Li Wen, it's the communication, love, and support from his parents made him change. So we can also say the love and support of their parents are the first important. Do you agree with him? Why? Yes, I agree with him. Children are not old enough to deal with many things alone. They need the company of parents. They need more communication with their parents. They need support, help, and care from their parents. It's important for parents to be there. Do you know those words and phrases? 
Can you paraphrase them? Take pride in means be proud of. Make a decision means decide. Be absent from means miss. Influence, we can also say change. Take care of means look after. Now, complete the passage with the proper forms of the words and phrases in the box. Here's the passage. Read it. Now, let's check the answers. The first one, take care of or look after. And this one, missed or was absent from. Here, made a decision or decided. This conversation changed or influenced his life. And the last one, be proud of or take pride in. Are your answers right? Let's summarize the whole passage. Can you draw a mind map to retell the passage? This is the sample. You can draw your own mind map and retell the passage after class. And from the passage, we know that a conversation between Li Wen and his parents made him change a lot. What do you think Li Wen and his parents talked about in their conversation? Write a conversation and role play it with your group. What possible questions might Li Wen ask his parents? What possible questions might his parents ask Li Wen? Here is a sample from my students. Let's listen. Do you love me? Of course we do. Why don't you take the time to return home and see me? Sorry, we are really busy with our jobs every day. Life is not easy and there are more chances in big cities. But we do miss you every day. Every time we think of you, we will work harder. We want to get you a better education and then, of course, a good future. In our eyes, you are a hardworking and kind child. And we are always proud of you. But what happened to you, dear? It seems that you have a bad performance at school. Why have your grades dropped recently? Is there anything unhappy that influences you? Um, I think it is because I always feel lonely. I miss you so much. That's our fault. What should we do in your opinion? I think what we need isn't too much money or other material wealth. We need more communication and love from each other. We agree with you, Li Wen. It's very important for parents to be there for their children. That's what I want to say. We will spare more time to accompany you in the future. Nothing is more important than our son's happiness and well-being. We have heard that you want to leave the school. Why? I don't have any friends and there are many strict rules in the school. I see. I understand that you think life is hard in school, but why not try making friends with others? Be outgoing. I think you can be brave and try to be more active. How about playing basketball with other boys? I know you are good at playing basketball. Okay, I'll have a try. We are always proud of you, son. Definitely, we should have more and better communication than before. But please don't worry too much about me. I will study harder. I believe things will be better soon. We both hope that you will become more and more cheerful and positive. Remember, we take pride in everything good that you do. We love you, son. I love you too. Thank you, Dad and Mom. What do you think of their conversation? Brilliant. Dear students, remember, parents and children are best gifts 
given to each other. Parents' love for their children is far-reaching. Understanding is the foundation of love. Today, we've learned a story about a loved behind boy, Mi Wen. His life is not easy. What can we do for left behind children? We can make posters to arouse people's attention, give speeches to make more people care about them, set up clubs to organize activities to help them. Extend your hand, extend my hand. Let's grow together with left behind children. Now, let's see today's homework. Read the article and memorize the useful expressions. Please give a speech to the left behind children and their parents to help them have a better understanding. That's all for today. Thanks for your listening. 今天的课就上到这里了，同学们再见。